everyone. I'm so glad you're here today. My name is Miss Kim and I am always on the go, traveling around the world to new and exciting places. So I was just packing my suitcase and ready to head on another adventure. So are you ready to go on an adventure with me? That is so great. But first, let's get packing. So remember, the first thing I always pack in my suitcase is my favorite stuffed animal. I couldn't leave Woody behind. So let me see you pretend to hug your favorite toy. That is great. So he's in my suitcase. And also, I can't forget to pack some books to keep me busy while I travel, but I can only take three books. So let's count them as I put them in my suitcase. Are you ready? One, two, three. Perfect. And I still have room for some fun souvenirs to bring back home with me. Oh. Okay, all right. So remember, one of my favorite things to do when I travel is to take pictures of all the places I get to go. Do you wanna see some of the pictures I've taken? Okay, so let me get them from my backpack. I've been to the rainforest where I saw all kinds of plants and animals and found the coolest rain stick ever to take home. Oh, and then I went to the sheep farm in New Zealand and there were fluffy sheep everywhere. It was so fun. Oh, and that's right. I just got back from a trip to the sandy desert in Egypt. I love taking pictures of all the places I go and the people I meet. So, do you like to take pictures of the things you see too? Whenever we see a camera on screen just like this, we should take a picture. So everyone hold up your camera to your eye and say with me, click. You've got it. Travel buddies, I think we are ready to go. But first, let's stand up and sing a song with me. streets of England. I've always wanted to visit this place, but I wonder how we're going to travel around here. Wait, so my ticket has a picture on it. Travel buddies, let's see if you can guess what it is. So, sometimes kids take this to school, and also we sing a really fun song called The Wheels on the... You got it! If you guess bus, you're right. It's a double-decker bus, so that must mean we are going to take a double-decker bus while we're here in England. But, do you know what we call a person who drives a double-decker bus? Is it a captain or a bus driver? That's right, you knew it! So let's all wave and say, oh, bus driver. Are you ready? Oh, bus driver! All aboard! Look, it's the camera. Let's take a quick pic of our bus driver. Are you ready? 
One, two, three, click. Hello, Jet. It looks like you and your travel buddies are ready to set off on an adventure. While we're on the go, you need to follow the two rules. The first rule is to be kind. Jet, can you and your travel buddies say be kind? Be kind. That's it. You can be kind by listening when others are talking. If you can be kind by listening, let me see you click on your listening ears with me. Click, click. click. You got it! Rule number two is to be safe. You can be safe by keeping your hands and feet to yourself. If you can be safe, let me see you clap, 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 put your hands in your lap. Let's do it together. Clap, 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 put your hands in your lap. We're all set to go. Today we're going to travel to a house fit for a king and queen. That's right, we will explore a castle. There's also a special souvenir to remind you of this royal adventure. It should be a perfect fit. Let me know when you find it. Now, what are we waiting for? Find a seat and let's get on the go. Let me see you pretend to drive the bus and repeat after me. On the bus. On the bus. We will drive. We will drive. On the bus. On the bus. On the go. On the go. Have fun taking pictures and don't forget to find your royal souvenir. We made it. Thanks bus driver. Traveling to a castle is so much fun. And the bus driver was right. This place is royally magnificent. So travel buddies, there's the camera. And remember, we have to take a picture of what we see. Are you ready? One, two, three, click. I've never traveled to a real life castle before. I've only seen them in books and movies and TV shows. But do you see the castle guards? On the count of three, let me see you stand up straight and tall like the castle guards. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, and look, there's beautiful flowers outside the castle. Oh, these are even more beautiful than the ones I have in my yard at home. I wonder if we could take some of them as a souvenir. But wait, do you see what the sign says? It says, do not pick the flowers. I guess I need to keep looking around for our special souvenir, right? Do you by any chance see something that looks royally wonderful? Anybody? Oh, how did I miss this? It's so beautiful. But I wonder, is there, is there something inside? <gasps> there is something. So, on the count of three, tell me what you think it is. Are we ready? One, two, three. Oh, this sounds like royal gifts for sure. So let's see what's inside. Oh, I can't believe it. It's a note from the king himself. And he says, good day, fair travelers. I wanted to give you a royal gift to say thank you for visiting my castle. So farewell. Look, the king gave us a royal ring. So everyone hold up your hand and put your ring on with me. This must be our special souvenir. So let's call the bus driver and show him what we found. So, are you ready? On the count of three, let's all shout, oh, bus driver. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, bus driver. Hello, travel buddies. I see you found a royal ring from the king. Just like the king gave you a good gift, God always gives the best gifts to his children. You know, God has different names that remind us of who he is. And one of the names for God is Father. You and I are God's children and God is our heavenly Father. We know that because Jesus shows us in the Bible. Long ago, Jesus told his friends a story about a father who had two sons. The father loved both boys and had a plan to give them some of his land and money when he died. But the younger son didn't want to wait. He wanted his part of the money right away. Even though it made the father sad, he gave his younger son what he asked for. 
Then the son moved far away and wasted all of the money his father had given him on wrong things. After the money was all gone, the son had to go to work feeding pigs. He was so hungry that he wished he could eat the pig's food. One day, the son thought, my father's servants have better food than this. Maybe if I go back, he'll let me be his servant. So the son decided to go back home and tell his dad he was sorry for the wrong things he had done. While the son was still far away, his father saw him coming. He was so excited that he ran to his son and hugged him. The son felt bad for all the wrong things he had done. But the father was just excited that his son had come home. The father said to his servants, Bring my son the best robe. Put a ring on his finger. Let's have a feast and celebrate. My boy was lost and now he's found. Oh, let's take a picture to remember how the father loved his son, even though he had done wrong things. One, two, three, click. Good job, travel buddies! When it was time for the party, the older son was angry when he heard about all his father was doing for his brother. It's not fair, he complained, and refused to go to the party. The father loved this son too, and went to find him. The father helped his son see that he had given him everything he had. Instead of being jealous, the older son should be thankful for what he has, and happy that his brother has come home. God is like the father in this story, and we are God's children. No matter what we do, God loves us, and he always wants to give us good things. That's because he's a good father. Now, let me hear you say this after me. God is... God is... My father. My father. That's it. You can remember God is your father every time you look at your royal ring. Well, I'm off to get the bus ready to go. See you soon. Thank you, bus driver. Wow, this royal ring will remind me that God loves me and is my father too. And God is your father also. So let me hear you say what the bus driver taught us today. Are we ready? Repeat after me. God is my father. You've got it. This royal adventure has been so much fun and we have taken some really awesome pictures. So let's take a look at what we've done so far. Look, who remembers when we took a picture of the beautiful castle? I do too. And did the king leave us a good gift or a bad gift? You got it. The king gave us a royal ring just like the father gave his son in the Bible story. Let's look at our next picture. Oh, this is a picture from the Bible story we heard today. When the son came back home after spending all of his father's money, was the father upset or happy to see his son? That's right, the father loved his son even though he had done wrong things. And even when we do wrong things, God still loves us too because he's such a good father. So I think we need to take a look at one more picture. Are you ready? This is a picture of the bus driver, and the bus driver taught us that God is our Father, and God is a good Father who loves us and wants good things for each of us. If you know what we learned today, then let's say it one more time. Are you ready? God is my Father. See, we all know God's name, and we know that He is our Father. So, let's stand up and sing a song to celebrate.
so much fun with me on the go, and I can't wait to take another adventure with you next week. Until then, bye.